First at 10, a new development to the decades-long case of an Oklahoma man on death row convicted of first-degree murder. Oklahoma Attorney General Gentner Drummond has filed a motion to vacate the conviction of Richard Glossop amid the release of an independent counsel report that threw serious doubt in the handling of his case. The news comes just days after Drummond had ordered a stay in Glossop's execution to next year. 2 News Oklahoma's Samson Tamajani joins us live in the studio with details. And Samson, you spoke with two men who know Glossop and who have followed this case closely for years. Yeah, and that's right. Richard Glossop has man maintained his innocence for 26 years, garnering attention nationwide from activists and lawmakers. Glossop has been on death row for nearly two decades for the alleged murder-for-hire plot to kill Oklahoma City motel owner Barry Van Treese in 1997. A co-worker of Glossop's, Justin Sneed confessed to beating Van Trees to death in one of the motel rooms. But as part of a plea agreement to avoid the death penalty, Sneed testified that Glossop offered to pay him for the killing. As a result, Glossop was the one sentenced to death. According to Thursday's release from Attorney General Drummond, he says he's wanted answers in this case since taking office just months ago. After thorough and serious deliberation, I have concluded that I cannot stand behind the murder conviction and death sentence of Richard Glossop. Those are Oklahoma Attorney General Gentner Drummond's remarks Thursday, releasing the final report from independent counsel Rex Duncan amid findings from the Reed Smith law firm. The investigations reveal serious errors and omissions in evidence, proposed ethics violations in people handling the case, and suggests co-defendant Justin Sneed lied to the jury about his psychiatric treatment. The AG continues, quote, This is not to say I believe he is innocent. However, it is critical that Oklahomans have absolute faith that the death penalty is administered fairly and with certainty. Considering everything I know about this case, I do not believe that justice is served by executing a man based on the testimony of a compromised witness. I'm ecstatic at the news. One lawmaker who's been outspoken in suggesting Glossop is innocent is Broken Arrow Republican State yes. Rep Kevin McDougal. He told me he met with Drummond within his first few days as attorney general. He was willing to listen. Um, so he met with the DA, uh, myself, the AG. We had a number of people in the room, including the attorney for Richard Glossop. And uh, he was very cautious, but he at least listened. And so that was very, uh, I was very appreciative for that meeting. We've also heard from Richard Glossop's attorney, Don Knight. His statement reads in part, quote, it is now clear that it would be unconscionable for the state to move forward with Mr. Glossop's execution when there is so much doubt surrounding his conviction. We thank General Drummond for his courageous decision to take a deeper look at this difficult case. We're going to have bread and juice. Boston Avenue United Methodist Church senior pastor David Wiggs developed a bond with Glossop over the years, first by mail, then in person. The Reverend now hopes Glossop can celebrate Easter from inside the church in the years to come as a free man. He felt compelled to write to you, and you felt compelled to keep in touch with yes. a man on death row. Yes, I did. You know, when you're taught as a pastor beginning that people will write you from prison and often it's a con job. It's just been a, a remarkable experience, um, actually, the way it's all unfolded. So, you know, as a man of faith, I would say surely God's hand is a part of that. And hopefully what we were doing is responding to God's work in our midst. And you can find the full statement from Glossop's defense as well as the release from Attorney General Drummond right now on our website, kjrh.com. Live in studio tonight, Samson Tamajani, 2 News, Oklahoma.